All right. One of the other things that we can do with this curve is we can determine what percentage or what part of our data falls between any two values. And what I'm given here is I'm given a distribution with a mean of 10 and a standard deviation of 4. What I want to find out is what percentage of the data is going to fall between 7, which we know is going to fall below the mean, and 12, which we know is going to fall above the mean. And so what my goal is now is to determine this area right here. Well, just like every other problem, we start by taking the two values, our x values, and we convert them to z-scores. So I've simply taken 7 minus 10 divided by the standard deviation of 4 to give me the negative 0.75. And I already knew that was going to be a negative z-score because I know that 7 is going to fall over here below the mean. I turned around and took 12, converted that one to a z-score, just saying 12 minus the mean of 10 divided by the standard deviation of 4 gives me a z-score of 0 0.50. I then went to the table in the back of the textbook and I looked up the two z-scores. And the z-score for the negative 0 0.50, 7, 5 rather, negative 0.75 came out to be 27.34. The z-score associated with 0.5 came up to be 19.15. Now I'm simply going to turn around and place those on my curve. And what it's going to tell me is that for my positive z-score of 0.50, that I know that 19.15% of my data is going to fall between the mean and this upper x value of 12. I also went into the table and I looked at the got the 0.2734. And what that tells me is that for this area right here between the lower z value or x value of 7 that this area of the curve is 0.2734. And this is absolutely the easiest of this in between because the table always gives me the area that falls between the x value and the mean. If I want to know the total of this area right here, all right, all of this, which is the area that falls between 7 and falls between 12, then in order to do that, all I need to do is just add up these two numbers because it tells me that between this point right here and the mean is 19.15 or 19.15 percent of my data and between the mean and that upper area is the other part. So if I simply take 27.34 plus the 19.15, when I add those two together, it tells me, gives me 46.49%. And what that allows me to do is to say what percentage of the data falls between 7 and 12? A total of 46.49. And if I looked at it in piece parts, what I would know is that 27.34% falls between this value of 7 and the mean, and 19.15% falls between this area, which is the area between 12 and the mean, and that the total added together of these two gives me my 46.49%. So whenever you solve for two values, when one is above the mean and the other one is below the mean, simply first calculate two z-scores. Second, determine the percentage of the curve associated with those two z-scores. Third, 
add the two together to come up with the total. So that's by far um, your best bet when you're looking for a quest, the answer to a question that says, what percentage of data will fall between? Fall between. They're on opposite sides, then we add them together. So I'm going to um, do one that's a little bit um, different in my next quick video.